hi guys so i'll be demonstrating how to make this um third lap pants it's a flared pants so i like to sketch out my work before starting now i'll start by making the rib first i'll be using a four millimeter hook and to start with i'll start by making my chains which is the normal thing to do so i'll make my chains so i'm going to take the measurement of the chain like this this is a total of 19 because i need 20 inches so one stretch out is going to give me what i want now chain two extra after chaining two extra i'll make one one double crochet in every chain space one one double crochet in every chain space Now I'm done with making my first row of double crochet. The reason why I like to make my first row before making a slip stitch is to avoid it turning. So make sure you lay your first row flat, then you make a slip stitch to the first double crochet you make. I'm going to close up that other hand. So I'm going to chain two, then start making my front post and back post double crochet. One front post and one back post double crochet. And another front post double crochet. So we are going to follow this procedure to the for the entire room. Okay. okay, so I'll be closing the other side, the other hand. It's a slip stitch from my left over tail, just like this. I'm going to pull that out completely. Just like this. And make some few slip stitches. Okay, so come back to the starting point, just like this. Then we move on to continue. Okay, just like this, and we are going to weave in that hand later. So we are going to continue with our front post and back post double crochet. You are going to do that till the you finish the entire row, just like this one back post and one front post double crochet. This is our four rows for my front post and back post double crochet. This is the fourth row. I'll be stopping with the fourth row. You can make up to two inches, about 1.5 or two inches for a toddler. Okay, now I'm going to start off by making my normal double crochet. One double crochet in every previous stitches. I'm going to be making one one double crochet for every previous stitches just like this. Continue like that. So if but if it wants the waist to be a bit smaller, maybe it's you have um the hip is kind of very very bigger than the waist you just have to make few increase but if not you just make one one double crochet till you have to reach the length of your crotch which is here for my crotch i'll be making it total of seven inches with starting my measurement from the waist which is the band so here i am can you see i have seven inches already now the next thing for me to do is to divide the legs is to divide the legs can you see divide the legs like this so to start off you have to know the number of stitches you have for the last row so this number of stitches you are going to divide it into two once you divide your number of stitches into two you demarcate the center so 
and i'm going to make chains i'm going to make a total of five chains this is for a toddler if it's if you are making for an adult you can make about 12 or 14 chains extra so now you count your stitches once you reach the exact half of it okay i'm counting here okay so this is my midway this is half of it so i'm going to make a slip stitch to that point just like this this is to enable the child to be able to spread their legs very well it will make the crotch too tight so i'm going to cut that off just like this can you see now i'm going to check my center because i want the um joining place to be at the center of the flap so i'm going to start again from here making one one double crochet one one double crochet on every previous stitches including this place so i'm going to make one double crochet on the chains can you see and the third one then i'm going to move to our previous stitches and start making my double crochet on it as well i'm going to repeat this step making one, one double crochet on every previous stitches till i finish this first row of the first leg okay once we reach here okay now can you see i'm at the end of it already i'm going to make a slip stitch after making a slip stitch i'm going to move to the second row chain two inside the same space make one double crochet then make one one double crochet in every previous stitches so i'm going to continue repeating this row after row till you have like so you take the measurements from the waist from the band till you have about five inch five or six inches left for the whole length like for instance now if you are working with a 20 inches long trouser so you are going to make that you reach your 15 inches long before you start making the flare for my flare i'm going to be using a single strand which is a lightweight yarn i'm going to be using a single strand because i want the flare to have this drapey feel to it okay i want the flare to have this kind of drapey feel to it i don't want it to look too stiff or too hard so i'll be cutting my yarn off here because i'll be using a single strand to make my flare i've completed the first leg i lost the um video so i'm going to be using this second leg to show you how to make the flare then you apply it to both legs okay now to make my to start making my flare like i said i'm going to use a single strand and i'll be using the same hook size because i want it to be drapey kind of so i'm going to use a single strand and the same hook size that i'm using from the start so for my first row i'm going to chain two then in the same space i'm going to make two double crochet so for every previous stitches we are going to make two two double crochet in every previous stitches this is to attain the flare so i'm going to make two double crochet just like this can you see i make two two double crochet in every previous stitches for the first row
okay so you continue like that to reach your starting point now i'm done with my first row can you see what we have so i'm going to be making a slip stitch my first double crochet can you see it's actually turning out um flat so i'm going to chain two inside the same space i'm going to make one double crochet okay so inside the next space i'm going to make one double crochet another one double crochet one double crochet now for this space i'm going to make two double crochet so on every five five stitches i'm going to make it two double crochet so it starts by making another one double crochet starts counting again one double crochet in the second space one double crochet in the third space one double crochet in the fourth space and for the fifth space i'm going to make two double crochet okay so i'm going to make two here you continue following this same process till you reach the end of the second row now i'm at the end of the second row this is to make extra addition as well now for the remaining number of rows i'm going to be making one one double crochet just one one double crochet and we are going to arrive at our flared results so i'm going to make my this rows i'm going to make number of rows to now it's going to make up for the five or six inches remaining for my trouser length okay this is for a toddler this is for a three years so you continue like that till you have the whole number of rows to make up for the six inches long and you see it's so drapey okay so i have how many rows there Yeah, you see my this is me taking the measurements. Say I have total of five point five inches. So <clears throat> now I'll be using this video to show you how to start the second leg. How to start the second leg. Now to start the second leg, we are going to Start using our double strand again. Now you are going to pick your work exactly from where the midpoints can you see the extra chains that we make. Extra chains that we make, you are going to insert a hook and just like that make two chains they make one one double crochet on it inside the same space make another one double crochet so you know for this chain you have five chains so that means we're going to start by making for the first three chains because we are starting from the middle point so this is our first double crochet second space make another double crochet then you make one one double crochet for the entire row just like this okay so i'm at the end of the first row <clears throat> okay so inside the remaining two chain space that we made earlier you are going to make your double crochet i'm 
after which you are going to make a slip stitch then then you follow the same process we did for the first like making one one double crochet chain two make one double crochet till you have the same number of rows you made for the first leg then you start making your flare okay and this is our finished work i'm done with it what is left now is to weave in the hands what's of your yarn check the number of stitches you have hope it tally with your first leg so one leg won't be longer than the other leg and i'm going to make a slip stitch here to finish off my work i'm going to finish off my work anyways i'm going to be making single crochet to finish off the end of my work to the tip i'm going to be finishing off with a single crochet same thing for the two legs can you see the single crochet can you see it gives it a nice touch and a nice very nice look so yeah it's our finished work i hope you enjoy watching the video don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you see you in my next video bye bye